Welcome back, nobles. My name is Mr. Crave, and this is some more European Rosales for playing as France. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna do that this time. No. This let's play is not gonna be <laughs> alone. Anyway, we are we've won the hundred years of war pretty convincingly. Oh. Oh, that's very fortunate. Dissolve this alliance. Oh my god, that's a good timing that the royal marriage ended. Because now I should be able to royal marry Castile as soon as we are out of our own war. Which makes it a lot better. Walls breached. Oh yes, Navarra is also here. Getting an alliance with Castile will might break their alliance with England eventually. So that would be a good sign. They probably do have some trust, though. Defenders desert in Anjou. Munster accepted peace. Rival of a rival gained 5 prestige and 25 depot points. Form an alliance with Savoy. I would gladly form an alliance with Savoy. It was the plan all along. Uh, the question is, oh, we are actually a relationship down as well, so I'm going to royal marry them now. You're going to come home from Denmark. So we can do other things, maybe claim stuff. And we have siege the Mets as well. I have no idea how much aggressive expansion it will cause, though. Um, development is pretty good in Provence, actually. 20. Holy crap, that's a lot. Okay. Um, our first... Well, I think they, this used to be there already, but... When the crown could not or would not pay cash to the nobles, they would instead grant them privileges to collect special revenues from which they could make a healthy profit. But now, that will actually change loyalty levels. Gain 10 legitimacy and 20 um, relations of opinion of Burgundy's opinion of us goes down by 20, which I don't care about anyway. We would get 10% tax, but we would also lose 10 legitimacy. But the nobility gains loyalty and the bourgeoisie loses loyalty. So, estates. Nobility is already down to 45%. Because we're not at very high legitimacy, so ability would gain five bridges. We lose forty percent. Why is this fifteen right now? Their current influence level. Ah, bigger the influence level, the higher the strength of the modifiers is as well. Development costs, land me. Yeah, I would really like the nobility though. So I'm going to go with Grand Privileges, even though we lose Legitimacy. I will want to keep it above 30%, let's be honest. But I would like the Nobility to be above 60%, so we have... Yeah, their influence must be below 80, but they're... But the... Influence below 80, loyalty above 60, that's the best. Ouch, Noble Rebels. Um, that's not good right now. What is your 7% as well? Oh man, really? Stupid rebels. I can't handle them right now. Oh, spoilers of war, that's pretty cool. Oh, good. This one is at least sieging down quickly. 3,000 now. Food shortage. Um, you know what? I'm going to take care of that army. Should be fine with a two-star leader versus a one-star leader. Even though it's woods. It should be fine. Um, Sweden does not have a lot of... Prest oh, there goes Barwa already. And there go the Noble Rebels. Wow. Well breached. 
gonna be an advantage. Big one. Um, are you seriously also at war with them? You've gotta be kidding me. Aragon, no thank you, you're not getting access. Oh, that's just... Burgundy just declared war in Provence? Are you kidding me? Um... They would be, yeah, they would still be able to join that. The Burgundy just declared war in Provence, which they cannot do anything about because I already have everything under control. Except for Maine, because Brittany get lucky. Mm, I will need to recover some forces after this. Um, actually... I should send the general down there at least. Saxe-Lauenburg will give money to Magdeburg. Walls breached. This one is down to 0% now as well. And it's gonna have its claims soon enough. Yes, you can do anything. Ha ha. Ha. Savoy. Um, let's improve relations further. As we are going to be allied pretty soon. Okay, that's Lotharing already down. Bring in that siege leader because he's a three siege leader. You start off with a three siege leader. A four four one three. It's ridiculous. Ooh, Brandenburg is expanding. Poland is losing a war. Um three thousand we are gaining four hundred and three men already. Swapping out our siege leaders. Aragon is getting hammered. Probably have to lose their PU on Naples, actually. That would not surprise me. And other guys move out to... Oh, God. That's a good point. Actually need 9,000 men to siege it down. means you can get a leader. There you go. Um, siege 1? No. Defenders desert though, so it is soon to be over. Um, they're not willing because no forts nearby, which is kind of silly. 30... Holy crap. Um, what about not Anjou? Eh, that's no bad things. 27.1, that gets us Provence, Burgundy, Liège, Austria. Ooh. Austria already has some, though. Okay, we have a 99% now. Um, if we don't take Barwa, that would drop down to 16.2 in doable. If we wait until the end of the year... Which we can, because we don't have 100% on them. Then all the aggressive expansions of everyone except for Burgundy, Provence and the Ash will have dropped. And we'll have a... Um, um, thing, thingamajig. Um, what's the word? Truce with Provence anyway. So Hormus. Um, no admin, because I wanted to core these provinces. There's that. Oh, a lot more information showing now here. Constantinople is Ottoman territory now. As you would expect. Seriously, is reinforcing that expensive? I guess it is. 2.02. .02. Bloody hell. That's actually with a reduction as well. People... Influence is not bad. We do have got. Fuck it. I'm, I'm spending some to give it a 50 50 chance. Eh, how about no? Um, yeah, Aragon is getting toasted. Let's improve with Naples. That Brittany, though. 
one province. They'll be able to say Japan. Siege of Anjou as soon as um, we go there, though. That's happening. Oh, our core is nearly done in Calais. That makes me happy. Well, we're nearly done reinforcing now. Mm -hmm. Nearly the end of the year as well. Let's speed up a little bit. Just so we can avoid the aggressive expansion that Insta Coalition. We have renewed a loan. Vigne good. Seed, Provence, and Draguignan. Huh, very nice, but no. Oh, I would like to get all your money, though. That's a good point, because we need the money to repair a loan. 0.59 actually, wow. In interest. Um, you know what, Mothball the fleet, we're not using it at all. Okay, we are maxed out with... Savoy. Okay. Provence, sue for peace. Look, only two nations will join the coalition. One of them will... Actually, wow, we dropped very far with uh, Liège. They are definitely accepting it, have a claim, war goal, Barwa because it's Barwa. Cancel subjects. 105 Diplo power though. It's very expensive. We could do it cheap by releasing, actually, it's a lot better to um, make Bar our vassal instead. Then on the other hand, we do have our, already have four out of four relations and two incoming alliances anyway. Hmm. We could release bar and then make it our vassal. That wouldn't take long at all, so. It would cost me one Diplo point, but it will allow me to go back to war a lot faster. I'm going to release Bar, and if I then take Anjou, only three nations would be able to join a coalition. That's even better. And still gets me three provinces straight away. Also, all the money you want to give, or French vassals. It would be really lovely to do that, but... Wow. If I did that, that would actually not be that bad either. And again, that would be two places that we would have uh, problems with. Um, also, war reparations. Even though they won't live very long. Sending the demand. Barwa is now a free nation. We shall offer him an alliance as soon as we can in three days also we need to court holy crap that's expensive I'm spending that to make it cheaper wow that's expensive Savoy wants an alliance I want an alliance with Savoy as well and I want an alliance with Bar gone Got an alliance with Bar, create a proper fleet, save, become Papal Controller. Hmm. Say Wang, the first Janid? Who the frick is that? Um, since there's actually a very high chance right now of getting the Curia, now it's even better. Let's see if we can get it. Life to him from Bar. We need just two more months, actually, to just straight up vacillate. They would not accept. Because they're a member of the... A Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? I know an alliance will actually up it by 10 only, but... They joined the Empire. It's the only thing here that's stopping us. Hmm. 
No, because a member of the Empire. Yeah, that's just annoying. Oh well. Autumn's declared war on Genoa. Ooh, that's gonna hurt them. Up there, probably. Oh, and here, definitely. Still, that's gonna hurt them. Oh wow, aggressive expansion, very high with but the Pope even. But we did get three provinces out of it, and Barwa is still not Burgundian either. So that's a plus. <sighs> you can't always get what you want. Oh yeah, um, Castile, offer alliance. Brittany's fabricating claims on us. Oh, really? Um, Burgundy will join in, of course they would. We now have our alliance with Castile. The war with Aragon has been going on too long for them to call us in now, though. Master of Mint has died. We gain an artist in return. Oh, right. Um, repay our loan. So our interest at least goes away. Um, sure. You can have access. You're my ally anyway, so... Can I threaten war? I would have to claim Avignon first. I'm going to do that. That was quick. Um, yeah, it's fine. Aggressive expansion is fine. Not with Brittany, but the rest of them, it's fine. Hello, there's a d land theft. Um, a call to arms. Oh, they actually. Get your ass back here for a second. I know I cannot declare war on them right now, but I can start a fabrication of a claim. Metz to Burgundy. It's um, not a small amount of aggressive expansion, but I want to get a claim on Roussillon then. I like with Portugal and Florence. I'll accept. So we are now actually at war with them. Um. Actually, I can get my fleet out there. Uh, anyway, many land donations are quite old, and while they are always written down, both landscapes, both landscape and names may well have changed since a donation was originally written. Recently, the clergy have been accusing several members of the nobility of outright land theft in the form of encroaching on lands donated to the clergy long ago. Nobility, on the other hand, argue that it's the clergy who are trying to seize land areas they do not own. Whoever we decide to, decide to side with will become the majority landholder in the area. So we could either side with the clergy, so to lose will gain control of it. Um, is to lose actually anyone's part? Um, oh, or the nobility will ga give, get it. Or they all lose loyalty. Oh, that's even worse. Um, let's have a look at the estates quickly. So, they both have very high influence already. Their loyalty is pretty decent. Um, if anything, I'd like to give the nobility the loyalty. We only get them to 70%, so I'm still going to side with a loyal, uh, with an ability. Clergy down to 30%. You can also interact with them. That I did not show yet before. Seek support. Lose prestige, lose legitimacy, but they gain influence and make a generous donation. They gain loyalty for 10 years. Ooh. Demand administrative support? Really? Oh, wow. 
recruit Inquisitor. <gasps> you can... Oh my god, you can get specific... Specific people. Send Emissary to the Pope. Ooh, wow. But that gains them influence, not... I'd like to increase their loyalty. Um, hey, land maintenance modifier down as well. That's very good. Because of their high loy um, influence. Control provinces, land theft tolerated. 30% is fine though, so... Yeah, I do need to at some point increase the loyalty of the clergy. What can we do with them? Ask for contribution. We gain money, they lose 5 loyalty. Grant monopoly charters, we lose... That's only a loss in prestige. Sure, I'll, I'll give up 5 prestige. 15 loyalty in exchange for 50 diplopar. Draft shifts for war. Start construction of 5 early Garrick for 0.0% of the cost. Wow. At 50% of the time. There are some really good things to get here. And then nobility. Um, raise levies. They would lose loyalty, but we gain a lot of manpower. <gasps> what? 15 loyalty. Grand generalship gains 20 influence. That's a bit too much, though. Called yet. Gains loyalty and influence. Right now, their influence is pretty fine. It's their loyalty. Yeah, I'd like li higher loyalty, but hmm, influence. Regardless, that's good. Um, they have some ships left, though, so we should be careful about that. East Frisia, something, something. Um, Catalonia, Tunis has a claim. Aragon. Wow. Okay, so that just happened. Um, let's go back to our own diplomatic interactions. Um, uh, War Ally has already claimed it, so I cannot set it as interest right now. I'll claim these and this. So with right click you switch nations, that's good. Yeah, I'm fine with that for now. <laughs> that's good. So our claims have been discovered everywhere, which is annoying. Um, Scotland, Scotland, would they accept an alliance offer? They actually would. Oh, they did get a, get an heir. Uh, but yeah, I will put down an alliance for Scotland. We're going to be very powerful, actually. Castile loves us. Wow, there are not many that hate us at all. Um, you know what, Switzerland, let's just improve relations. You're close by, I want to keep you happy. Try, you know, it would be hilarious to just make Switzerland survive. Um, regardless, I've been going a little bit over time here. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'm going to increase autonomy in the provinces we took, so we don't have any revolt risks. And I'll see you guys later.